bam, 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 da ba da ba dam 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 dam, da ba da ba dam, da ba da ba dam, da ba da dam 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 dam, da ba da ba dam, da ba da ba dam. Hello YouTube, it's been too long. Got a new camera. I'm back. This is my ten questions and answers. Holy moly, it's windy out here. Uh, I was tagged by Tarantula Dan, that's Daniel Oakley. Go up by me. Bear it. Oh god, chaos, this is all chaos. Um, and fortunately for you guys, very special, I'm actually joined by some of the other YouTubers today. So here we go. Bollocks! Ruined it the first turn. There you go, Dan, you can have a scarf. That'll, that'll do you. There's old Dan there, old Dan, you ugly me old boy, here he is! Oh, that'll do. It's not like I put a lot of effort into it anyway. The quality is diabolical. Look at him. Right, who else have we got in the back here? Yeah, that's right, broken window, there you go. Oh, yes! Adam Conley wearing a cape. Let's face it, if one of the YouTubers was going to be a wizard, it would probably be him. We got old Sam Carvel with a bit of a glare on his face. Probably shouldn't have printed it off in, uh, I don't know, shiny paper. What do you call it? Shiny paper. Very clearly some sellotape there. And there we go, there's old Mark. Just going to put it out there. Maybe I should have printed him off a bit bigger. I mean, head comparison. Jesus Christ. His head is about a quarter of the size of cardboard Sam. Anyway, let's let's go. Let's let's do this. Bloody cardboard Sam, never doing up your coat. I can see your cardboard, mate. Right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's so hot in here. What's going on? Where's me? Uh, there you go. Bit of cardboard. Oh, crikey. Good old monkey, you. Question number one. I should probably put this cardboard down. What got you into teas? I put teas, it's an abbreviation of tarantulas, I'm sure you know that. Anyway, so number one, oh, phone's going. Fine, Jesus. Right, number one, I have always been absolutely obsessed with animals. Absolutely obsessed. Uh, when I was a kid, I had pets, pets, pets. I remember I had an adopted, uh, God, what was it? Adopted leopard gecko, like the easiest, simplest lizard in the world to look after. The corn snake. Uh, got them at an old age. I think they're about, I can't even remember how old they were, but I had those until like a few years. Always had some more animals, and I remember when I was young, I was probably about eight years old, nine years old, uh, I got praying mantis. And it's bang, boom. That was me done. Praying mantises, they're the thing. Loved them. Um, Always love primances. Don't worry, we'll get to tarantulas. This is the tarantula tag. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I had these primances, absolutely loved them. Then got through secondary school, went to college, got a job, had to grow up, didn't have any of these pets anymore. Um, and then a few years ago, I was a bit like, well, I used to love primances, you know, why not get some more? So I actually went on eBay to get my first ones and they were, uh, well I say my first ones, my first ones since I was a kid and they were, what were they? They were, uh, God. They were, wait, they were a horizontal species, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and anyway, I had these prey mantises that I got off there, popped into a pet shop, and I was a bit like, well, I've got prey mantises, why not try out a little tea dizzle, a little tarantula, a little scooby tarantula. So I did, I went in and I got myself a curly hair, I did my research, they were meant to be unbelievably docile and by god they are, by gosh they are, and I got him, I got myself a weeny little one, who turned out to be a lady tarantula, who I've still got now, she's a big old chunky lady curly hair, bopalossum Nicaraguan curly hair, thingy-majig, and uh, she actually gave me an egg sack. Not long ago, well I say not long ago, oh, camera's turning, that's right, second camera. Is it turning? Nah, no, that'll do. Um, and so yeah, um, that was my first tarantula. 
and she was a get him. She was a get him. What am I doing now? Number two. Hang on a minute, what? Did I just tell you? I just did number one and two together. That's why I get into teas and my first tarantula. But then I guess, oh, this is all gone to shit. I've not even managed to get through two questions and do it properly. Once you got one, you get drawn into this hobby, which is more addictive than you could ever know. So if you don't have any tarantulas, then, uh, what, what? So if you've, well, you know what? I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't know what's happening. I've, it's all gone to shit. Fantastic, are you gonna let me go? Are you gonna, oh, you're not gonna let me go. Hey, flashing the lights, woo! Number three, favorite species. Number three, what is your favorite species? Um, that's an ever-changing, ever-changing thing. Um, let me just pull out of here. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. You going up? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Right, favorite species. Um, and I could be pronouncing this wrong, is Cereopagus lividum at the moment, um, which is the cobalt blue, of course. And it's just because they got so much attitude. I've got another few coming through the post, same species, but they're just absolutely great spiders. Absolutely great. I'll say spiders, tarantulas. I'm gonna have to get off the motorway because everything is going mad, it's all going to shit. I can't hear a word that I'm saying, probably. Number four, my dream tea. Well, this is a bit of a depressing one. Uh, because I actually had my dream tea for a little while. Um, I got it from the Seas Spiny Show. And that was the Scorcher Island Baboon uh, and Balfouri. And the plan was to have a little communal going. They're absolutely Stunning spiders. I keep saying spiders. They're not spiders, they're tarantulas. If you're in that Facebook page, World of True Spiders, sorry guys, I know they're not spiders. Um, if you're not in that Facebook page, World of True Spiders, join that Facebook page, World of True Spiders. And you know, whilst I'm saying it, if you like praying answers, World of Praying Answers, I think that's what it's called anyway. Getting off the, off the point, off the point. Where am I going with this? Oh yeah, score on in the boom. That's, that's the one to get. That is it. Get yourself cut those bad boys. <laughs> Quite a treat. So yeah, highly recommended. Um, as you know, if you saw my video after the seed show, I got them, went on holiday. Uh, plug socket went to shit. Plug socket went to, it, it went bad. It didn't go to any bad words. It went bad. Um, heating died very cold outside. In the UK we've literally just had a cold spell, even though every other country in the world deals with it, you get a little bit of cold here and the whole country shuts down. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's... Uh, I'm sort of just driving around now, I've, I've lost track of where I'm going. Oh, cheese, that's it, I need to get some cheese. Um, yeah, and Balfour. So, it, you know, it's a perfectly achievable goal and once I've got some again, then maybe I'll... Uh, find something new that I want. I mean, I like some of the blue species. Um, electric blues are absolutely amazing, but obviously I've already got those. Um, for a long time, I wanted a species Rufus. Um, but again, I got the Rufus. He's a, he's a real wonder. He's a, he's a wonder. He's a wonder. I hope it's a girl. She's a wonder. Anyway, right. Uh, let me just get into somewhere which is safer and I will answer your question something or other. Question question five. Well I should have counted this um, before I left. Let me just think. So, don't worry camera, it will be fine. And it must be sort of mid 30s to 40s um, in terms of tranches I've got where I, I say individuals, I've got probably about seven adult curly hairs and as I say, I've got another few of those uh, cobalt blue serial pagopus coming. Um, but yeah, I'd say between between 30 and 40, um, not including 
all of my baby curly hairs. Um, all of my baby Baraki Palmer are bopper lopper 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 loppers. I know old, uh, old Adam in the back there, he's got one. He calls him Little Butt Kicker. Uh, can you see Adam from there? Where's Adam? Oh dear. Little shiny bell. Can, can you see it? I don't know if you can see him in the back. That's old Adam. Adam Conley. Old Lil Adam Vertebrarian. There he is. There he is in all of his glory. Just sitting in the back of my car. Just having a little sit down. Uh, yeah, and um, anyway, yeah. Where was I? Yeah, he's got, I, I, I sent him one in a, <laughs> there goes my voice. I sent him one in a mystery box. That's right, occasionally I will be selling things. Not all the time, it's just when they come about. Um, due to work, I can't sell stuff. I'm just getting off the track. Um, yeah, so I think I said some between mid 30s, mid, mid 30s, plus all of the slings. Introduce a tea. Uh, bye bye! Introducing to you not a tarantula, this is my gongolus gong. gongolus gongoloinus? gongolus gongoloidus? Ah, oh, bloody lost, lost. Um, these are uh, wandering violin mantises. Um, they are looking stunning. Uh, they are from Africa. They do need heat. They're not like all your standard ones. Um, and so yeah, they've got this little uh, lamp and some twigs around it, just set up on the ceiling. Um, that's my introduction. Unfortunately, guys, you caught me at a time where I haven't got a lot to feed. So here's a dog. Here's a bit of bacon. There you go. That'll do. So, presumably I just introduced you to a tea, I guess I filmed that separately. And I imagine that I just fed one as well, which is number seven, feed a tea. I don't know why it's written down as tea, it sounds ridiculous. Feed a tea. Um, presumably I've just introduced you to a tarantula, and I fed a tarantula. And if I didn't feed you to the tarantula, and or introduce you to a tarantula, it may be that I prefer Pramances to some extent and I introduced to you and fed a praying mantis instead. Perhaps. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I didn't. Let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, my favourite YouTube channel. That's a ridiculous question. Um, how do you go about choosing a favourite YouTube channel? Right, so you've got obviously old old Tarantula down there, old bloody Daniel Oakley. I just put it out there. What happened to his hair? When I said send me a photo, I mean I mean that is real tarantula, he's here in the car. But but what was he thinking? Like, what is with that hair? Good goodness gracious me, I think I'm just what a what a, a damn lunatic! What a damn lunatic. Now Tarantula Dan is probably the first YouTuber I started watching religiously. Um, and so I've got to give him that one. He's, he's bloody great. He is. He's bloody great. I tell you what as well, when you've met someone in person and they're just a generally nice guy in every way, um, then that sort of, you know, it gives him the, top of the upper hand. Up so I'm gonna have to bloody bloody mention me in this video many a time. Not that I haven't been mentioned in other people's videos, but Tarantula Dan, what a man. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's bloody great. You obviously watch his channel. Uh, if you haven't, then watch it. If you haven't, then what are you? Who are you? Um, so that's the number one that I'm gonna mention. Uh, number two is the Spider-Man. Uh, he's great. Unfortunately, I did, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't make it today. There's only four seats in the car. Bloody, uh, you know, what can I say? What can I say? Um, so he's great as well. Dark Den again is another one which I've, uh, I've followed from. I say from the white go, not from the white go, but for, for the last few years. Dark Den is great. Old Petco. And I met him as well. I can't remember. Maybe at the British Transfer Show. That was fantastic. Fantastic. Um, right. 
where am I going with this? Right, others in the back of the car. Others in the back of the car. So there's obviously Mark there, old tiny weenie Mark, which is irony of irony, because like I said in my last video, he could definitely crush a man's skull in the palm of his hand. Um, but unfortunately, when he was on his way down um, to come for the ride in the car, old Mark, where is he? I don't know if you can see him. He ended up being the smallest one here because uh, I don't know why. I think the photo he'd taken it at one angle, everyone else had taken it. I mean, no, there's no photo, they're here. They're all here. Anyway, Mark's tarantulas is absolutely bloody fantastic. Um, and the other thing that made it, it's so professional. You look at his spider, you look at his tarantula room, pristine, bloody pristine. You look at mine and it looks like someone's just like thrown up a bunch of tarantulas and praemances into a shed. Someone's just eating them up and <laughs> everywhere. Um, but yeah, at the same time, bloody great. Um, there's old Sam Carver in the back. Lovely Sam, what a guy. He's just, I mean, I haven't met him, but you can just tell, you just, you watch like two minutes of this video and you're like, well, he's a lovely guy. <laughs> hey, I mean, just, that's the only way to describe, he's just, he's just a nice guy, Sam. Just, he's just a great guy. And again, his videos are bloody fantastic. Um, I do enjoy him. I've only actually recently subscribed to his channel, um, but yeah, absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. And I'm gonna end end that little bit with uh, with probably aside from Tarantula Dan, my favourite, and I've I've mentioned him quite a few times. It's old Lilad Adam Bloody the Invertebrarian Connolly. What a what a, oh god, I almost, almost mavin off there. What a guy! God, I think it might be because he's, I, I imagine that he's probably very similar to me in real life, because he's bloody mental. He's just, he's just, oh god. What a guy! Oh, he's funny in his videos. He's got a tiny little man. I don't know where he found that tiny little man. Like, he's, he's microscopic almost. Like, like, you could probably put him in a, 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 a jar of eggs. What do you have? What goes in jars? He could fit in a jam jar. So there's old Adam, old miniature jam jar man, wee man, and he's just bloody great. He's just a, a funny guy. And like I say, if it, if someone was a wizard, it would most certainly be him. He's a bloody wizard, that old Adam Conley. If you haven't watched his channel, make sure you watch it. Right, right. This minute, turn this video off right now. Turn it off. Uh, I mean, maybe save where you are. Turn it off. Subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to his channel and bloody, uh, you know, need I say more, but then come back. Then come back. Don't leave me. Tree frogs, um, who I believe you've seen, I don't film because they only come out at night. Um, you know, it's, I could wake them up in the day, but to be honest, I just don't want to. I do a channel on inverts, um, occasionally other bits, and to stress them out, to get them out, it's not worth it. Um, but yeah, red eyed tree frogs, absolutely beautiful. I've got four. What are they? Guys, tri coloured dart frogs, but which ones they are? They're the really tiny little ones, and any frog fans are going to ridicule me for this. Um, but anyway, I've got four little dart frogs, and again, I don't do a lot of filming of them. Um, my knowledge on them is that of someone that's just got them as a pet and still need to learn more. I mean, if I do videos on them, I'm an absolute noob, noob at keeping them, so I don't want to give false information. And the other thing is that they've got a bioactive live vivarium, and they're just you, just, you see a glimpse of them, and then they jump behind the leaf, and you know. Um, anyway, what else, what else? I've got two royal pythons. Uh, I've got Anna, who is absolutely amazing. Anna is the first royal I got. I got her from a breeder in Margate. If anyone lives in Kent and is looking for a Royal Python, I know a fantastic breeder in Margate, and I mean outrageously good. Um, really, really nice guy. Great, great snakes. Very enthusiastic about it. He loves every single one of them. Um, so I can, yeah, I can give you his uh, his contact details if that's something you're into. Um, I also have my second one, who. Strangely enough for a royal is quite aggressive, but then where I got her from wasn't 
you know, it didn't look ideal. She obviously hadn't been handled a lot. Um, so, you know, two royals. I've got a hognose snake. I'm not sure if I've done a video. Um, that's a western hognose. Uh, looks like a worm. It's tiny. Um, yeah, great little snake. Right, one sec. I'll be back with you in a minute. Back with you. It's a fact. If you're a chef, you eat crap food. Uh, where was I? What was I talking about? Um, oh, other pets. I've got two dogs. I've got Marley and Nancy. Um, both lurchers. Um, I used to do a lot of hunting. Lurchers, you know, there. Need I say more? Ferrets. I've got four ferrets. I've had a lot more ferrets at one point. I used to breed them and sell them to a lot of the people that went hunting, ferreting and such. Um, but yeah, I've got four at the moment. I've got... Well, anyway, I've got four ferrets at the moment. Um, then, not mine, but I live with my other half, obviously. That would be crazy not to. Um, but yeah, my other half, Cara, the wonderful Cara, and she is a wonder. Oh, oh what a wonder. She's a wonder. Wonderful Cara. Um, she has two cats and a chameleon. Charlie Chameleon, he's absolutely great. Um, yeah, what a guy. So uh, he's not my pet, but he's part of the family. He's part of this mad family. Oh, and I've got my Pac-Man frog. How could I forget him? The General Mark II. Oh, the General Mark II. How did I do that? I'm very sorry, Mr. Mark II General. Um, the General Mark II because I used to have a Pac-Man frog when I was very young and unfortunately got sort of a growth on him. And uh, yeah, that didn't go so well. But the General, the General Mark II. Uh, where am I? Am I? Am I on? Am I? Oh, okay, right. Here's a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna start at how he bloody said it. So this is meant to be a question, right? If you could organise a get together for all of the, the tarantula people, not YouTubers, not the other people that are in, <laughs> not the other people that are into the same hobby, Daniel Oakley. You use the word tarantula, I mean, the word tarantula people. Shame on you right now, shame on you. But anyway, tarantula, in fact, I'm not gonna read it out how he said it because he was, I don't know, he was, he was, he was intrigued by Ramsey for a moment. And the, the question, the question is I, uh, as I understand it, is if I could organize something for everyone in the car, you know, they're already here, and other YouTubers, anything, what would it be? And I mean, it, I mean, it could be some sort of crazy party, which would be joyous. But if I'm being, if I'm being quite honest, what I would love to do, what I would really love to do would be to go somewhere, I don't know, maybe somewhere in Africa or South America and actually just go and look for some crazy animals. Now that would be, that shit mental that's basically like what I would like to do all the time now that would be that would be a treat that would be great but that being said that that being oh god <coughs> that being said um, a more realistic thing that I suggest that we do do <laughs> do do um, is all of the UK tarantula people, <laughs> all the tarantula people of the UK, now all the hobbyists or anyone who's interested, um, just having a general gathering now. I know a lot of people live, I say up north, I mean Birmingham way, I'm not saying Birmingham either, but you know, in that, in that general direction. Um, and I'm very much up for driving wherever do like a long distance drive, probably not in this car, it's falling apart. Um, but I used to do a huge amount of free climbing and rock climbing. And I very much suggest that in the summer, we should all go on an adventure to North Wales, Snowdonia, and uh, do a couple of mountains there. And I'm not talking about Snowdon, because if you wanted to do Snowdon, you're going on a long walk. 
um, but it would be great if anyone would be up for going on an adventure to like Trifan or one of the glitters or uh, just anywhere. <laughs> In fact, just, just an adventure to North Wales or just like go whitewater rafting or anything like that. That would be great and I'm suggesting that now. So if anyone is down for that, then uh, maybe we should consider arranging that. Arrangement, ar ar arrangement, uh, that's, that's, we could arrange that there. And I'm not saying it's only for UK people. I'm not saying it, I'm not excluding anyone. I'm just saying, oh, hello. <laughs> I just saw the picture of Dan in the fucking, in the other camera, it looks ridiculous. He's a ridiculous looking person in that, the, 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 the face he's pulling there. Um, well, yeah, I'm, you know, if people would be down for that, that would be great and we could film it and it'd be a bit of an adventure. I mean, if anyone's up for going on a mad trip, when I was in Cyprus recently, that was great. We found loads of lizards and stuff, and I did find a tarantula, but it was in a wall, and I couldn't get them out, and it was really annoying, and I couldn't really do much, because it's a sort of holiday with my girlfriend, and she would have been upset if it was constantly me just finding animals and doing all that bits, but, well, if it was very much specifically for that purpose, it would be fine. Other than that, the other thing would be just to go out on little trips, like maybe meet up a couple of people, you know, go on a bit of an adventure. When I was younger, I say when I was younger, I'm quite young, I'm John Young, it's my second name. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to always go out looking for grass snakes and adders and fuck about with them. And obviously it's not a, and, 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 and mess about with them. And mess about with them, I didn't say that. And uh, obviously that's not ideal, you don't want to be doing that. Um, especially with grass snakes and adders, there's not too many of them about. But that's what I did when I was a kid and that's what happens when you're in the countryside. Um, but. I'll be well up for going out and looking for some of these things to admire from a distance. Um, you know, could be. <laughs> right, that's, that, that's over. I've probably made this way too long. Number 11. Right, so number 11 is tag another YouTuber. And my tag is going to Mark's Tarantulas. Um, old, old Mark and his old tarantulas, Mark's tarantulas. Now this is a question which comes from my own experience. Um, not ideal. Have you, Mark, ever lost any of your tarantulas in your house and then not found them again? Or have you ever lost any and what did you do? Like, What do you do in that situation? I lost a regardless. Several months later, luckily I found it. Um, and it like, doubled in size but now about you in fact this is a question which would be great for a lot of the youtubers um but my one my tag is mark from mark's tarantulas um so look forward to his 10 questions and answers um hopefully it's a little bit more organized than this one i'm just driving around um and yeah thanks for watching and i'll possibly leave links in the description but probably not I'd probably not. Um, <laughs> you know, I could be typing in all of these names and you could be looking at these tags, but honestly, probably not. Probably not. Um, the other thing I will leave a tag for, I do have another YouTube channel. You might not be interested, it's um, more for when I'm streaming games, which has happened once so far, um, or just generally anything which is like beyond normal if it's just going to be me going going full do lally and I think you know I can't put this on a tarantula page because it's just me going mental that will go on there um, and I will leave a link for that but it's not for everyone it's basically a channel of just me screaming non-stop it will be it will be it will be I mean it's basically like this video I guess what a bloody joke this was I tell you what, before I watch this video, I watch some of the other 10 questions and answers, and they're great. They're great. And what the hell is this? What on earth is... I mean, I'm just driving to pick up some cheese. That is literally it. Just some good, mature cheddar. Good, mature cheddar. It's not even for me. It's not even for me. If I could afford cheese, well, I wouldn't be doing this, I'll tell you. I'll tell you now. If I could afford all the cheeses, wouldn't be doing this to you now. Ah, oh, there's no parking spaces. Well, that's the end of this video. Right, toodaloo. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.
Well, I've just had a look around and most of my teas are unbelievably chunky at the moment. I don't really want to feed them. So I'm just having a look for something that I can feed. I know what I can feed. This is completely wrong for this video, but I'm going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. 